Risa Tisa, Legion, pre-approvals. Let's get into it. Because he went ahead and put the documents up, the receipts, I guess you would say. If your pre-approval starts with dear, comma, Mr. McCoy, that might be our first clue. Like where is the, the chase word on the side, the emblem? Where's the date? Where's contact information for the lender? All those things. And I have gotten fake pre-approvals over the years. One, I think the client actually thought it was real. And I think it was one of those emails you get from like the king of Nigeria that you are related to their family somehow and you won five million trillion dollars. All right, and then he has his Cayman Island bank account. Y'all, I'm gonna flip the phone so you can see it in a second, but check out that he started with a 55 cent balance and homeboy put this up there. He had overdraft fees and he was negative $72 in the end. I mean, look at this right here, 55 cents. And then can you see this down here at the bottom? Goodness gracious. We're not buying it, Legion. Not gonna happen. Not gonna show you any houses today. But anyway, that's why just kind of going back to real estate, we do ask for a pre-approval. We send it over with the offer and we verify it. Not saying his pre-approval was not legit. You can decide for yourself.